Hi guys, uh, Jim here again with the Cash Garage working in a 2013 Chevy Cruze. Uh, got the oxygen sensor upstream, changing it right now uh, to show you that this is the actual GM part, genuine part, part number 555-72993. And that's the unit itself there brand new one so i'm replacing it i just gotta point out a couple of things in here guys uh gm is catching up with germany and creating a new uh, lock-in mechanism for this thing uh this uh, pin right here basically goes attached to the side wall in here so most likely you're gonna break it like i did on the old part once it goes in, you know, just basically never gonna go back to normal. You just break it, nothing you can do about it. All right, so the other ticker, uh, secret, or what I'm saying why is GM catching up with Germany is because I thought that the uh, tops right here were come off if I put my screwdriver onto it. So the answer is no. So GM came out with this. See how this top is raised a little bit on this side and on this side right here. That's because of this sliding mechanism right here, who allows to open and close that. See, I just close it and then we use some screwdriver, which I don't know what I put right now. You basically tap into it. Uh, let me just grab it really quick, this little screwdriver, sorry guys, for the camera motion. So basically, you go right here, one-handed, I guess I can do it. No, I can So, let's just try to find a better focus. Right there, sorry again. Okay, so right here. You're gonna just put your screwdriver right there and you know play with it. So once it opens, right, just gonna hear final click, and that's how your end uh, female connection to the oxygen sensor is gonna be. Um, the only or part in here is using that tool that either you buy or you get at your auto parts shop. It's always a 7.8. Um, I have three different ones in here that came in this little kit, three different versions of it. All right, this one is a uh, metric 22 millimeters. This one right here comes with uh, different angles options. The only difference that I did today is because I didn't want to start my engine and start sweating because it's 35 degrees outside today. I heat up the uh, the exhaust uh, part of it using a little uh, propane tank gun because the other option is, you know, turning the and letting the engine warm up for about 10 15 minutes so that way the metal come to temperature and the oxygen sensor will come out much easier than that right so again i'm working in this uh, 2013 chevy cruise ecotec engine 1.4 with uh, with turbo manual transmission but again all uh, ecotec engines are the same so this is the part number for the uh, oxygen sensor. And now the only thing that it has to do is just reverse it, put it back in the same way they come off. Again, I don't like to bore you down with so many of the details. Um, once you got it off, this part right here, that's the main part. Then, you know, use the proper amount of force in there. Um, don't uh, use a breaker bar because you won't be able to get it with a without a wrench just regularly okay uh, unless you decide to cut the cable because you sure that you have the part and then you put a 7 8 a crown um, tool and then you can just use that but uh, otherwise I don't recommend it 
uh, again, put the engine to the high temperature so that way the um, manifold, the exhaust manifold is a temperature so that way the uh, oxygen sensor come off, come off easily, okay? Uh, one other thing that these sensors do come with is the uh, non-stick grease in it. So I don't want to contaminate it by taking it off, but make sure that it's in every single thread because that's going to make it easy for the following time or the next time that the oxygen sensor needs to be replaced. All right, guys, so please like it, share it, and subscribe. Again, this is uh, Jim from the Cash Garage. Have a good one, guys.